Ethan Figuel says, how do you boost your confidence talking to people and get rid of the paranoia that people hate you and don't th like you and think you're trash? That's how I feel. Okay, well, the first thing is, um, let me tell you a little bit about courage. No, a little bit about trust, sorry. When you're a naive person, you trust people because you think that people are good. And then maybe someone comes along and hurts you and you think, oh no, people aren't good, I can't trust anyone. And then maybe you're paranoid and you think that people hate you and don't like you and think you're trash and so forth. You don't trust people. But then you figure out, Jesus, this whole not trusting people isn't working out very well because now I can't get anywhere. And, and if I ever do meet someone who's trustworthy and I don't trust them, then I, they're not going to get an opportunity to show me that they're trustworthy. And so then what happens is that you replace naive trust with courageous trust and you put yourself out there despite the fact that people might hate you and don't like you and think you're trash you know so the other thing i would say that's more practical ethan i think you'd find that you only think that when you run away my suspicions are if you went out and talked to people like you'd have to have something to talk about you know but if you went out and talked to people you'd find that those thoughts only bothered you for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you would get over them. You know, a lot of that's uh, high neuroticism and, and that's uh, that in the big five aspect scale, that's withdrawal. You're experiencing a lot of withdrawal related negative emotions, anticipatory anxiety. And the best way to overcome that is to not avoid. So if you find yourself avoiding social situations, then you have to formulate a plan to stop doing that. And then over time, your confidence will be boosted.